afternoon folks big Bo here with another great small class c motorhome value from parkway rv center today we're going to review one that we had just gotten in had some requests for some small chevrolet motorhomes well here you go 2005 four wind chateau by thor this is a model number 23a which is one of their smallest class c motorhomes they built in 2005 and uh just a basic little motorhome got low miles great shape for the year model easy size to drive and park it's only 24 and a half feet long bumper to bumper uh built on of course chevrolet 3500 uh, chassis with the six liter vortec v8 300 horsepower plenty of uh, plenty of power for this little motor home i mean you're not talking about a great big one right here either but it's actually small enough it's big it's small but it's big enough to have a stationary bed in the back and you've got a full size awning right here and all in all this thing's in good shape now keep in mind open mind it is a 15 year old motorhome so you're going to have some typical little bit of fading a uh, few little crows some crows feet in the slot in the uh, stripes which is completely normal for a 15 year old motorhome i mean is that going to affect you using and enjoying this motorhome of course not but I like to point out the flaws as well as the, the, I guess the pluses and the minuses as we go around it, as many of you know. Corners aren't beat up. It's got a 5,000 pound tow capacity hitch on the back. Spare tire, got the EPDM roof. No delamination. Got a uh, window awning. Got a 4KW Onan generator running right now, powering everything inside. Getting to be a busy place around here. You know, you're going to like the Chevrolet. It runs and drives great. You know, it's not the big V10 like you get in the Fords, but in this size motorhome, it's more than enough for power. And it's not going to kill you on fuel mileage. Cab over looks great. Said decal on the cab over is faded, but other than that, hood looks great. Windshield looks great. Tires still got the tabs on them. Um, not a lot of use. Got some pretty decent outside storage for a 24 and a half foot motor home. I've got pictures of it on the ad. But let's look inside this 23A. And as we step inside, clean little motor home. 42,000 miles, dash air is ice cold. Now I'm gonna point out one thing, the previous owners or the owners before that, I'm not sure, built a homemade storage cabinet where the bed would normally be. And it normally has a, a, a full size bed up here, but you know, a lot of people buy class C's because of the size, not because of the sleeping capacity. And um, you know, if you don't need this extra bed, it's a heck of a storage compartment. And they did a good job. I mean, if it was me and if I didn't need this bed, I would leave this. But, of course, you can always take this out and put a mattress in. But huge storage. Looks like they insulated the windows, so keep some of the heat out. I'm going to tell you guys, you can never have enough interior storage in a small motorhome. So to me, this is actually something that RV manufacturers should offer. Uh, of course they do, but it's got a TV up here. But they should offer a full cabinet in the cab over. Because you got your TV right here. And you got your TV in a good spot directly across from the swivel chair. But 42,000 miles. Power windows, power locks. Seats look great. CD stereo works. Dash, windshield, all that stuff's in great shape. You can still sleep four in here even with losing that bed up top. You've got a table booth that makes a bed, flat screen TV on top. You know, this is nothing real complicated, guys. It's simple, easy to use, first time RV, or, or maybe somebody's tired of driving a, a complicated 40-foot bus, just wants something small and easy to drive for weekend camping, and, and nothing real complicated. Well, here you go. Something to be said about getting simpler in life. Um, something I'm discovering recently myself. Sometimes... Cutting back and being simple is a, a good way to live. And same way with RVs. I mean, you know, you got to look at it. Less things, the less equipment it has, less stuff you've got to worry about repairing down the road. 
and um, you know it doesn't have ducted air it's got central air but right here in the middle which is all you need for a motor home like this you got a nice refrigerator and freezer clean doesn't show a lot of use Let's see if it's already already starting to get cold against the wall there so we know it works got a uh, I'm gonna say this is probably a queen bed but full to queen bed I don't, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth and um, you got overhead storage you got a fantastic vent fan bathroom in the back big closet right here and with that extra storage in the cab over this thing's got quite a bit look back here of course they put some kind of homemade shelf back there that I'd probably take that off but you know I'm gonna leave it whoever buys it that's their choice shower looks great skylight no sign of the water damage you know perfect for a couple and one thing I want to point out most small motor homes like this um, with the big outside storage normally they build the back of the motor home up for extra outside storage well the bad thing about it is when you're walking back and forth you'll have a hump right here from the bedroom into the kitchen area about a seven or eight inch step and if you're not ready for that step people fall and, and, and all kinds of stuff not used to that step this one is all one level there's no step up no step down besides going in and out the RV but a lot of these you look at with this corner bed corner bath floor plan does have the step I don't like those um, if you're forgetting about that step and you step wrong you can hurt yourself and, and hurt your back and fall and whatever else you know but guys just a nice clean comfortable little motor home 24 and a half feet long let me put that in perspective you say you, you say you know somebody you drive an f-150 four-door just a regular pickup truck four-door like just about all of them on the road you're almost 21 feet long you buy one of these little class b vans uh little camper vans so small you can't even change your mind in um with two people you'll be ready to find a hotel room after sleeping in it for a couple of nights those things are 20 to 22 feet long so for two and a half three foot longer than one of those little class b's and and three feet longer than than the probably the pickup truck that, or a full-size suv that a lot of you drive every day you can have something like this easy to park easy to drive lots of room i mean this is something that two people can take can really comfortably take on a cross-country trip and be able to park easily um you know and i and i honestly believe that having a bed made up especially if you're going to stay in a long time is a big thing i'm not a big fan of the motor homes without a stationary bed because i've owned one before and it's aggravating having to make your bed up and down every day this you just get out of bed and start enjoying join the day um i don't like the big i don't like the murphy beds either i just um they're not comfortable they don't put a good mattress in them um these right here they're stationary beds so you can put a thick house style mattress in it be as comfortable as your own bed at home and um and by the way guys if you ever want to upgrade a mattress in one of these let me know i've got a great connection with a local uh mattress manufacturer and they can build pretty much any um size of mattress even the rare one like that with the corner cut out of it if you wanted something like a nice inner spring pillow top mattress or or memory foam top whatever you want uh, if you ever want to when you buy your rv if you want to upgrade your mattress let your salesperson know and and we'll get you a price and order it for you if you want to get it um but that's up to you um but anyway that's just an option i like to throw out there and we don't make any money on that i mean you know basically we we call them order the mattress pay them what we charge you and they'll bring it to us so and usually have it ready in a few days and it's a whole lot cheaper than getting these rv parts catalogs and ordering one from them about half the price let me tell you um i bought one for my coach for 550 dollars 575 and that thing's as comfortable as is my king size bed at home so um definitely <coughs> something to consider 
But this is an 05. It is uh, 24 and a half feet long, 42,000 miles. Very nice condition. And like I said, I like this cabinet up here. To me, if you don't need that bed, this makes so much more sense than just leaving that empty or leaving or storing stuff up there for the whole world to see. At least this way, you can keep it closed up out of sight and keep it organized. Um, definitely some pros to that. But guys, this little unit is 26.9 while it lasts, and I honestly don't believe it's going to be here very long. Uh, low mileage, smaller motorhomes are getting tougher to find without getting into the late model stuff that cost 60, 70 grand. Um, and um, here's the reason why: people that own these motorhomes, they don't let them become driveway queens. They get out and use them. A lot of people will take a motorhome like this, use it for a day trip. I mean, you look at a full-size conversion van, it's not much shorter than this motorhome. You can use it for day trips, sporting events, uh, weekend trips. You can use it for cross-country trips. You can. This size motorhome is so versatile. Um, kids doing softball, for example. How cool would it be kids got a softball term, middle of summer, hotter in Hades, and... Um, you know, you, all the other parents are stuck in the bleachers in between games or sitting in their car sweating to death. You can pull this thing up at the, you know, a little further away from the field, run that generator, run that roof air. You know, your kids in between games, they can come in here, cool off, have a nice something cold to drink, watch TV, uh, fix you something nice to eat, not be a, not have to rely on the concession stand to feed your family. How, not, how neat would that be? Have your awning out, have your chairs set up. Um, you know, if your uh, spouse likes to go shopping, like my wife likes to go to these outlet malls and she'll spend hours there, how cool would it be to have a little motor? And I thought about this myself because I usually use my conversion van for this, but this would be even better. How cool would it be to have something like this? Because I'm not a big shopper. If I, I'm one of those guys, if I, if I need to buy something, I click online and buy it or or I run into the store and I have tunnel vision right to what I want, get it and get out. But I'm the only person that can actually go into Wally World and get exactly the item they need and walk out without buying anything else. <laughs> Drives my wife crazy, but but uh, <laughs> she likes to look. But um, how cool would it be to have something like this, let your spouse do what they need to do? You hang out in the camper or the RV. So, um, you know, a lot of things you can do with it. And a motorhome this size, you know, if you go visit family out of state or out of town, you know, this is small enough to fit in their driveway. You can stay in it without imposing on them to stay in their house. Um, so, like I said, it's, I could go on and on about the different uses. A small motorhome like this. And believe it or not, a lot more people can justify a small motorhome like this than a big one. But anyway, guys, 26.9, it's going to go through our world famous four page inspection process. And everything, and I've got a physical copy of it in the coach, and I will make sure to put a link below in the video description, so you can, in PDF format, so you can read that. And I promise you this, guys, there's not another RV dealership in the country that will take a 15-year-old motor home for any price and put it through the inspection process that we do. I noticed they put some shelves in some of these cabinets, which is cool. I mean, you know, you want this age. You know, you're always going to expect a little customization, but tastefully done. And they even almost just about matched the wood up on that cab over cabinet. So, I mean, whoever did this actually did a pretty decent job. But guys, you know, we're going to go through this four page inspection process. Oh, that one's got stiff. There's your books and manuals, by the way. And anything we find wrong on our inspection sheet, which you should, by the time you call us, you should have already read it and studied it, know everything that we inspect, uh, which is, like I said, more than any other dealer in the country on a used motorhome. It's more, it's more points than a, it's more points to check out than a uh, than a brand new one goes through from the factory or the selling dealer. This has been added too, by the way, and got a little outside inside thermometer, which works. A little shelf right here somebody's added so I mean you can take some of this stuff off if you don't want it um, but after purchase it goes through that inspection if you want to know the current lead time for a class C RV checkout so let you ask your salesperson who let you know we can get to these things as of right now very very quickly 
um, you know, we try to buy nicer stuff to begin with, so that means we can check more things and have to do less work, spend less money on these things, checking them out, because, like I said, we try to buy the nicer stuff to begin with, so we don't have any problems. You know, you buy one that's been neglected or one you have to rebuild, when you go through a four-page checkout process, you're going to run into problems, and very expensive problems, and time-consuming problems, so we try to keep everything smooth by buying pretty much the cream of the crop. Um, in fact, we turn down more RVs than we actually buy when we look at them, so keep that in mind. It's not because of money issue or price issue when we turn them down, it's because of the condition issue. And guys, I've got some really cool stuff coming in. Um, one that I've been trying to buy for six months in a small motorhome, and uh, we're going to do some cool things to it. We're going to do a little customing, customizing on it and uh, so stay tuned for that if you're not already a subscriber to my channel um, but this little motorhome right here is going to make somebody a fine little RV something basic easy no slides no jacks just easy to use you know you can drive you can boondock camp in it you can camp in the campgrounds with it easy to set up and take down I mean like I said I it's just something to be said about having something simpler and still do everything you need it to do. Now I know this thing doesn't have granite countertops or you know huge shower glassed in on all sides with and doesn't have massaging chairs built into it like the high-end coaches do and and satellite dishes and all that junk but hey that's just you know that's just more stuff you got to set up more stuff you got to worry about repairing further on down the road. But for 26 dollars we're going to go through that inspection sheet, fix anything we find wrong with it that's listed at no additional cost to you. It's $26.9. Uh, actually, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I could keep running it for $26.9, but it's only $24.9. $24.9. Um, I don't know why I had $26.9 on my mind, but it's $24.9 for this little motorhome while it lasts. Um, you get a 90-day nationwide limit. Uh, excuse me, the... Guys, I, I'm just having all kinds of trouble here. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. Uh, the warranty company um, does not write warranties on 05s anymore. It's got to be 06 and newer. I'm sorry about that. So it uh, obviously it can't come with a warranty. But we're still going to check it out. Make sure everything on it works. That's something as far as repairs you don't have to worry about for a while. Um, and uh, guys, you know, we're going to check it out. We're going to give you an orientation after it's been checked out and cleaned up. And we do a final walkthrough. We're going to call you to set up a time to pick up your new to you Chateau Sport. Once you arrive here at the appointed time, my tech or my walkthrough expert, Preston, will go through this RV with you, show you how to operate everything, have you sign some paperwork, have a checklist as he shows you each system. He'll check it off so he doesn't forget everything. And, um, and all that's included for 26.9. Also give you some other nice incentives. We give you a year's worth of free camping up to 21 nights total, seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12 month period. So that's a thousand bucks worth of free camping. Also included is your legal drive out tag, your starter kit with all your camping essentials, sewer hose, water hose, pressure reducer, adapters and more. All that's included. And um also included is, like I said, your title work, and if you're a Georgia resident, we also do your title work and all that. No additional charge. Um, you know, we do charge you for the tag and, and the and the state fee for the title, and I think that's like thirty eight bucks or something like that. Um, which we have to do since we're the oldest licensed, bonded, and insured RV dealer in the entire state of Georgia, fifty one years in business. So we don't charge you any extra for that. We have no fees, guys. Here's the thing. And as many of you know, you go to most of these RV dealerships, especially the big corporate ones, you know, they're not just going to just, you're not going to come in with a check for the asking price and, and leave with an RV. Um, you know, they, you come in, they're going to try to get you to finance it. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a big scam going on right now is they'll advertise a price, but they'll put in the fine print. You have to go through their finance department to get it for that price. So, in other words, you come in with cash, you pay more, um, which is actually technically illegal, but um, but they do it anyway. I mean, that's just like most other laws that just get ignored. I mean, um, 
are not enforced. But what they do is they'll say you got to go through our finance department to buy this motor home. Let's just put we'll just put this motor home at that other dealership. You know, you can buy it for twenty six nine if you go through the finance department. They get you approved. They're dealing directly with the bank, not you. You're not talking to the bank. You don't have a clue what they're actually saying to each other or emailing to each other. And they come back, Miss Customer got you approved at 7.14% or 7.99 or whatever. You can rest assured that number they're telling you is not what the bank's saying. This is 100% legal. Shouldn't be. But it is, and they actually mark the interest rate up. They'll get you approved at, say, 5.99. They don't tell you that. Since you're not dealing with the bank, you have no idea. They're, they're, they're bringing you paperwork for 7.14 or, or, or 8% or 85 whatever they think they can get away with and keep you in your payment range. That's why these other dealerships are so adamant about what, you, what payment you're looking for, what payment you're looking for. Because the one they can make the most money on is the payment shopper. Guys, price, I'm going to give you a tip when it comes to buying RVs and cars and all that stuff. Price and payment go hand in hand. Um, you know, if you've got a trade-in, look at the trade difference. If you've got, if you're buying for cash or, or, or just not trading nothing in and financing, look at the price. The price and payment go hand in hand. Um, you know, if you go in and say, hey, I want $400 a month or less and so they're going to say, well, if you hadn't told them that, they probably got you done at $350. But that right there tells them that, hey, we can mark the interest rate up, make them pay an extra $50 a month, and they'll pay it. So they're going to do you at $399 or $400. But if you hadn't told them what your payment was, they could have got you done for less. And you're overpaying by thousands of dollars over the life of an RV loan because of that simple mistake you made. Guys, payment and, um, like I said, payment and price go hand in hand. You finance a certain amount, your payment's going to be a certain amount. Um, you know, what I recommend everybody uh, does when they buy an RV, if they're going to finance, contact your local bank or credit union, see what they offer for financing, uh, terms and interest rate, and how much down they require. Keep that in your back pocket. If you go to the dealer, see how if they can compete with that. If they can't, go with your bank or credit union. You know, every penny you save is a penny you can use for camping. And um, don't don't pay these fees, guys. You go to these other dealerships, you're going to tell you, all right, for twenty six nine, you got to go through a finance department. Plus, that price does not include a uh, a customer service fee, a happy camper fee, a dock fee, a prep fee, a tag and title fee, processing fee, or any of that stuff, guys. That's that is uh, all those fees are one hundred percent dealer profit. You know, we do charge you for your tag and title if you're a Georgia resident only, and then we only charge you what the state tells us we have to charge, which is, I think, $18 for title and $20 for if you if you want a new tag or $5 for a transfer. I just know this because I just bought a vehicle the other day. So, <laughs> But other than that, guys, there's no fees. It's $26.9 plus applicable sales tax. That's it. No surprises, no red tape, no jumping through hoops. Nice motorhome checked out, cleaned up, ready to go, 26.9 plus tax. If you're interested, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Look at the carpet in here, and this looks like the original carpet, still in great shape. Um, the linoleum looks great, too. No stains, no watermarks, nothing like that. No soft spots on the roof that I can find. I mean, it's just all in all, guys. Uh, well, well, well above average condition for an 05 uh, motorhome for this price. If you're interested, give us a call, 706-965-7929. You can email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. I'm also going to put a link below in the video description to our website. And I've actually got several little small motorhomes right now. Uh, Chevrolet, Fords, a um, little bit of everything. And more coming. We actually bought a couple of little motorhomes the other day, and that one I'm really excited about. But I'm going to hush up about it because... I'm actually got some big plans for it, and I'll show you when it comes in. Um, we're going to make it really unique. Let's just say that. Only one like it in the country, even though it's going to cost us quite a bit of money to do it. Um, but anyway, guys, check it out. Check this out. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, call us, email us.
and uh, look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringling. Oh, by the way, folks, feel free to stop by. I know a lot of people are scared to actually physically go to a dealership in person because they don't want to be corralled into a sales office and interrogated by two or three people and closers and managers and all that stuff. Guys, we're completely different. We're the only dealership around that has 150 plus used RVs in stock. And the only dealership around, you can simply get out, uh, park where you want, get out and look during business hours without being escorted by a salesperson, without stepping foot in a sales office or giving up any personal information. Guys, if you need anything, just poke your head in the showroom. One of my guys will help you. It just doesn't get any easier than that. We are very, very much into no pressure, no commission salespeople. No reason to fear coming here to look because as, as much as I honestly try to review these things on video, show you the good and the bad, you know, it's still nothing beats actually physically walking through an RV yourself and getting to know it uh, before deciding if you want to buy it. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, call us, email us. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.